So we've looked at bees, we've looked at ants, we've looked at beetles, and now we're going to look at my favorite, butterflies, and their nighttime counterparts called moths. Again, while I'm reading, have a look at these beautiful pictures and see how many butterflies you can count. See if you can spot the caterpillars and the pupas. Let's read. Beautiful butterflies fly through the rainforest, flashing their brightly colored wings. Butterflies are active by day. They feed on flowers, sucking up the nectar through their long curly tongues. Moths are usually active by night. During the day, many moths rest on the trunk or branches of a tree. Their dull brown markings match a tree's speckled bark. This camouflage makes the moths hard to see. Is it a butterfly or is it a moth? Butterflies are usually brighter than moths and have more delicate bodies. A butterfly's antenna are clubbed at the tip. A moth's are usually feathery. Here you can see the difference. There is a butterfly. There is a moth. These ones have duller colors. The butterflies are brighter. There are about 150,000 kinds of butterflies and moths and they and their caterpillars come in all sorts of colors and sizes. The atlas moth is as big as a dinner plate. The western pygmy blue butterfly is not much wider than your thumb. Butterflies, like many insects, change completely as they grow. This change is called metamorphosis. Here you can see the butterfly lays its egg. A caterpillar hatches from the egg. A caterpillar changes into a pupa and a butterfly comes out of the pupa. These wings of butterflies and moths are covered with tiny scales that shimmer in the light. Some of them are brightly colored. Others have bold patterns or scary eye spots. When a butterfly or moth flashes its wings at its enemies, it confuses them and gives itself time to escape. Let's have a look at some of the butterflies we can find in our area. Madagascan sunset moth, American moon moth, Apollo butterfly, Western pygmy blue butterfly. These you'll see flying around your garden, small white butterfly and its green caterpillar. This is a Cairns birdwing butterfly and its spiky caterpillar. A gypsy moth, 88 butterfly. If you look carefully, you can see the numbers eight on its wings. A red admiral butterfly. This we also see in our area, an orange tip butterfly. This is my favorite, a swallowtail butterfly and its stripy caterpillar. A comma butterfly and its spiky caterpillar. A common blue butterfly and its caterpillar. An owl moth. A hornet moth. A smooth emerald moth. And there is your big atlas moth. The largest moth in the whole world. Thank you for our chat on butterflies and moths today.